I believe that everything we do comes from an inspiration, an idea, something we have been influenced by. So from this, you know, we learn, we seek knowledge and we understand more about ourselves and our environment. So, a few days ago, I saw a caterpillar in my home, which must have come in from the garden. A small, green, wriggly creature, but so fascinating at the same time, because this creature has the capability of becoming and taking on another form, a butterfly. And this is the summer season, so I decided to invest in a butterfly garden kit from Amazon. And I thought that it would be a lovely idea to actually have my own caterpillar set and watch the transformation of these beautiful creatures turning into this great and wonderful, powerful butterfly. So that's what this video is going to be about. But before we begin, I'm just going to release this butterfly back to nature just like the butterfly kit i will release the butterflies back into nature where they came from and watch the process so i do hope that you enjoy this video Hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm so excited. I've never actually done this before and you may have heard of it. It is a live butterfly garden. So from Amazon I actually purchased a live butterfly garden and the caterpillars are included and you get five of the caterpillars and they come in a little container with the food and I'll show you in the next clip all of these things so don't worry about that and yes so you actually go through the process of them cocooning and also them turning into the beautiful butterflies that they are and then letting them go which is probably one of the best parts of it because um you know you're setting them off into their next life and um yeah it's so um fascinating to watch these butterflies so um yeah so i do hope that you enjoy this video and if you are new to this channel then a very big welcome to you do not forget to subscribe to this channel give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and also hit on that notification so you don't miss any more videos so let's just you know I'm going to get, talk you through the inside of the box and what you get and also the process of this um, live butterfly garden and I will leave links down below for this item so that if you are interested and um, I can tell you um, from first-hand experience it definitely was worth it and I did really enjoy the process and watching everything take place and it is very easy to do so you know don't worry about it being complicated but let's not talk too much let's go and see this for yourself so you can definitely see what I'm talking about so over to the next clip okay so this is my insect lore box and it's from the live butterfly garden that I got from Amazon I'm just going to open this up and you see that it's but, you know, it's been since 1969 it's been a while um, so this is what you get and it just has a little big bit of a display here and a girl um, showing the live butterfly and this is an insect law and it's 50 years of life they're celebrating their 50 years of life so you know credit to them for creating such a great kit that even kids can use so you know if you, anybody like me that me that likes anything to do with insects wildlife just you know very fascinated about things like this it's very nice that there are people out there that produce things like this that you can actually do yourself so you watch them grow and um, you learn about them at the same time which is really great so inside of the box you actually get the five caterpillars if you have a look at this carefully you can see how tiny these caterpillars are so 
always remember what they look like now and there is food enough food in there um, for them so you don't have to worry about food and that's why I said that this kit was easy that you don't have to do much it's all in here you don't have to provide anything here is the habitat so it's all sealed in at the moment so if I just release it it will be a netted little habitat for them inside of the habitat is a little book that tells you everything you need to know about um, all the stages that you have to go through so don't worry it's all in this book there is a little um, suction thing here that when you make the um, water that's what you will be using to suck up the water for the butterflies but we'll get to that stage in a moment so you need to place this cup indoors and you need to keep it away from drafts and sunlight and you always keep the lid on okay and you do not touch the caterpillars okay so that's all you need to do and all you need to do is watch them eventually you will find that they actually climb to the top of that lid and they turn into chrysalids and that is where all the magic happens now this will last for I'd say about you know seven to fourteen days and you will place them on that station there that little box that they give you and you will just wait for all that development that's going to happen inside eventually you will notice that they will open up they will crack out of these chrysalids and they'll become butterflies little baby butterflies which you need to care for for about two to four days before releasing and that's where that little magic water comes in because you'll be feeding them that um, for those two to four days and then releasing them so that's what's in the kit those are the six stages and um, they talk about them more in the little leaflet that you'll have and they'll give you a bit more in-depth instructions you can also go online um, to the insectlaw.com um, uk. sorry and um, you can look up more information there So, um, yes, and also just to say that you can visit them and you can share your YouTube videos, which is what I'm doing right now. And, um, yeah, you can share your experience.
So now that the chrysalids have hardened for about three days, we can now safely move them into the station. So remember to remove any of the, you know, the silk around here um, because if you don't that's very important to remember that to remove anything because if you don't then when they do start to turn into butterflies it'll be very difficult for them to open up so and do not be afraid when they do jiggle around and move it's just what they would do in nature it's something that they do to protect themselves so you will find that they will wriggle and move a little bit but it's still safe. So this is the time now where they will be going into their butterfly habitat. So this is the most important time where you need to be very gentle with them, um, placing them on the onto the chrysalid station and then placing them into the butterfly habitat. Now when you place them into the butterfly habitat, just a quick reminder to place some tissue at the bottom, um, only because they will make a mess when they break out into butterflies and um, you'll notice some light blood stains. So put some tissue at the bottom and also if one of the um, chrysalids does drop off then don't worry about that just pick it up put it on the tissue and just let it turn into a butterfly um, on the tissue itself so that's what you need to be doing and that's what I'm going to be doing in this final stage process waiting for those butterflies um, to appear um, I cannot wait it will be a bit of a lengthy process I just check daily and to your surprise I'm sure you'll find some butterflies So in the pack you get some sugar and butterfly nectar and how you would do this is you would mix this sachet with 50 ml of water and then you stir it and with the little pipe that they give you you put a few drips on a flower or a bit of tissue or some fruit so in a little container I have picked um, a flower from the garden um, a rose so it'd be great to be putting in the little droplets and first of all I have my 50 ml of water in front of me I'm going to now put in the sugar nectar for the butterflies and I'm just going to be stirring that with a little pipe pick thing that they gave me and just give it a little spur stir and making sure that it completely dissolves and then this will be what I will be putting little droplets on the leaf ready for them to drink so once it has completely dissolved you need to be putting little drops on the leaves on the fruit just anywhere really where they are able to get to it and suck it up and drink So this is what I found this morning. They obviously broke out of their chrysalids and yes, and formed into beautiful butterflies.
So here I am and you can see over here are the butterflies and this is like day three now so they say to release them between two to four days and I think that it's time to release them because they said that when they are more hanging at the top of the habitat the butterfly habitat that they include in the box and they are doing that a lot that it is ready for them to go into the outside world and um, yeah and they actually say that this is an experience that you'll never forget when you release them and they may stick around they may not they may hang on your hands they may go over your face um, I don't know what to expect that's just what I'm reading from um, the package here so um, I'm happy to release them now and say goodbye but fantastic experience if you ever decide to get one of these um, yeah it's great I just love it um, you know young and old it doesn't matter how old you are um, if you like animals insects environments anything that's living on this planet this is a fantastic first time kit to use so I will recommend it I'll definitely put a link down below um, if you are interested in trying it out so I think it's time to take them down I think it's time to say goodbye um, you know yeah end of a journey here so let's release them and see how they go and say goodbye so but before they go that's how i'll end this video so if you are new here then a very big thank you for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe you give it a like if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to hit on the notification button so you don't miss any more videos i'm gonna say goodbye here but they're going to say goodbye at the end of this video. So stay safe, take care and I'll see you soon.